Well, let's talk to Bureau Show, Sirius XM 168. I'm going to attempt my first poem ever on air here with Hunter Collins co-hosting. Oh, this is so exciting. This is called, "Twas the Night Before the Election. <laughs> Twas the night before the election when all through the U.S. every creature was stirring because of this mess. The election polls were set up by old people with nothing else to do in hopes that Hillary the Donald would be voted by you. The adults were were restless, not snug in their beds, while visions of orange-faced men danced in their heads. (laughs) And Mama in disbelief and I on my laptop tried to settle our brains, but our minds just won't stop. When on the television then arose such clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away from Fox News, I changed in a flash, put on CNN and threw up. I just threw up so fast. The moon was full and the civilians were out, marching and chanting, filled with such doubt. When what to my wondering eye should linger, but the Donald himself and his 10 tiny fingers (laughs) with a little younger driver, so douchey, a dick. I knew in a moment it must be Eric. More hunting extinct animals, tiny Trump did exclaim, and he whistled and shot rifles as he wore a fur mane. There's Donald, Donald Jr., Eric, Ivana and the Vixen. Oh, that's his wife, stupid me. Look, Tiffany and Baron. The entire Trump family up on my wall getting the last minute votes. Please dash away all. You won't get our support. Not ever. Not today. You've given us too many obstacles which get in the way. So take off from our house and leave your peculiar hair. We don't want you to win, you fake and bake billionaire. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing of Hillary in a red-lined pantsuit. She drew her head and turned around. You better not vote for that bully, that clown. He's not fit for any office. In fact, he's a moron. Besides, I'll be your leader. The conclusion is foregone. You don't trust me. You don't like me. You don't have my back. I'm in bed with Wall Street, but you can't vote for that quack. Her (laughs) eyes, those huge bags, her pretentious hand waves, her insincere smile, her health. Is it grave? Her Wiki leaked emails from a private server. Her connection to Wiener, that sick giant pervert. She's piped up and called many of us deplorables. Where's the Ray's Clinton Foundation money? It seems so horrible. And while it would be great to finally have a woman in the White House, is Hillary only getting there because of her slick red haired spouse? You know Bill Clinton, who's not the most trustworthy too. Remember that Lewinsky scandal? He cheated. She blew. But why bring up the past? Let's focus on tomorrow. So, Hillary, leave my roof right now. While we all feel sorrow, she spoke not a word, but went straight to her SUV. I went downstairs and made myself a strong hot toddy. (laughs) What has become of this election? I shouted so loud when my young child ran down and said, Daddy, are you proud? I said, why? He sprang. I won't get caught up in the insults. The youth will lead our nation despite the results. So don't worry, Daddy. I love you. I love Mama. And I also wish we could have four more years of Obama. Amazing. (laughs) Nobel Prize for Literature. Get this man on Reading Rainbow. (laughs) The Todd Shapiro Show. All right. We really appreciate you watching that video. Make sure you check out some more videos. Why not? Let's get caught in the Shapiro Show vortex right here. Or you can subscribe to the channel right here and check out videos at any point because we're going to give you all the alerts. We do appreciate you being a part of our family. Most families hate each other, not ours. We love you.